everybody, it's WallGuy. Today I want to talk a little bit about Microsoft. With their recent announcements, uh, a lot of us think that they might have gone a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, quite insane, I'd say, they've gone. Uh, they've lost their way, they don't seem to be in tune with what uh, consumers want. But I've got inside information that says this current platform, the Xbox One, it's the system that they always wanted to make, going way back, all the way before the original Xbox, uh, say maybe around 1999. But first let's take a minute to talk about the gameplay that you're watching here. And also if you enjoy our videos, please click the like button right now just to let us know that you'd like to see more Medal of Honor 2010 videos and more topics like this. Let's see if we can get this to say 70 likes. That would be really big for us and we'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, subscribe for more stuff just like this. We also wanted to remind you that uh, we are still working on our new Battlefield 3 content. Uh, we hope to release that really soon, so don't think that we forgot it. Uh, we did announce that we're going to be doing a lot more Battlefield in the coming months. Uh, so that will be coming soon. Maybe some more solid announcements uh, in the next couple videos. We'll see. This particular video is another fun video that I pulled from my unused game archives. It's very old, but it's new to you, so it should be interesting. Uh, my archive is down to maybe one or two more HD videos, so when that dries up, I'm going to have to get new gameplay, uh, like new, actually go and play and get new gameplay. Um, I'm at the mercy of servers being available that I'm not banned in. And I also got to deal with the terrible state of the server connections that EA currently uh, has for all of us. So it wouldn't be easy to get more gameplay, but I'm not done with 2010 videos. There still will be more. It's just going to be more difficult than it is now to get footage. Alright, in this round I came in very late. Uh, we were down by about 600 points, and the enemy team already has almost half the points they need to win. And I, of course, intend to pull off a miracle comeback, like usual. But it won't be easy given the time constraints. Now, these situations can be difficult because the other team has a lot of momentum and my team has already been conditioned to take it up the ass willingly. So I only have a short amount of time to turn this whole game on its head and close a large gap that I inherited. Uh, it doesn't go well either. I start out slow and die much more than I would like, as you've been seeing here. Uh, things are not looking good. Uh, but I finally get on a roll and start to make a push. Uh, will I be able to make a big enough run to save the day? Uh, will a cruise missile be enough to save our fate? <laughs> it's going to be real close, so watch the end and you'll see what happens. Alright, it's time for that inside information on Microsoft that I promise. Now, this information is not exclusive to me. Uh, if you followed the games industry and Microsoft closely back way before Xbox, the original Xbox, even existed, you may have picked up on this yourself as Microsoft reveals quite a bit about their business strategies uh, if you're an investor or, or if you're just paying attention uh, from the outside looking in. But for the longest time, Microsoft could care less about game consoles. It's true. Uh, what they did care about is being at the forefront of entertainment convergence devices uh, for the living room. They saw a huge earnings potential here. Uh, obviously they want to get their operating system running on that device and control that sphere and expand a little bit from the PC market. Uh, they made several convergence devices um, that failed to succeed in the way they wanted them to. In fact, Microsoft was really hoping that the PC would spearhead this jump into a living room convergence device for entertainment. Um, Sony, on the other hand, was looking to eventually take their consoles in that direction. Microsoft was not entirely oblivious to Sony's intentions. Uh, they knew that eventually that they would have to go head to head with Sony if they wanted to control the living room. But they never really thought that it was going to come from the game console sphere. And then Sony started talking about their PlayStation 2. Uh, and to Microsoft's surprise, lots of features that were being talked about sounded a lot like a game convergence device to them. Or not a game convergence device, but an entertainment convergence device. And that scared the bejesus out of Microsoft. I mean, here you have their primary competitor for the living room announcing a 
system that follows on the tails of the PlayStation 1, which sold around 100 million units or so at that point. And it's going to basically have a lot of these features that Microsoft covets uh, control of. The potential hit to Microsoft's overall business, uh, the threat to the business was so strong that they were willing to uh, fast track a console of their own, a gaming console of their own. They kind of threw it together with off the shelf parts, combined it all together into a hot running, inefficient beast we knew as the Xbox One. And they were willing to sink and bleed billions of dollars into this system. In fact, they didn't start actually making money on their game systems division until well into the Xbox 360's lifespan. That tells you a little bit of something about how much money they must have lost, which probably was well over $10 billion over time. So yeah, Microsoft entered the games industry not because they had a love for video games or even because they had a good vision. They really didn't. They made the Xbox to hopefully stop Sony from controlling the living room. The Xbox existed really just to steer consumers in Microsoft's direction if game consoles ultimately evolved into that convergence device for the living room that Microsoft had long envisioned. So they jumped in fully, losing billions of dollars for many years, to force a place for the continually failing Xbox brand to finally succeed. Obviously though, money's not enough. Along the way, they had to hire some good games industry people to do good things for their system, otherwise they weren't going to win the hearts and minds of any of these video game consumers. So while their motivation wasn't originally in the best interest of games, the Xbox eventually did become a great game system. As time went on, the industry continued evolving, and with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, the convergence to the living room was finally happening on a decent level. But Xbox was a loser the previous generation and could not strong arm certain features uh, into the system without being kicked to the curb. Uh, but things are different now. They're coming off a generation where they were the clear leader amongst hardcore gamers, although technically Nintendo's Wii was far ahead of uh, the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 overall in sales. But Nintendo, of course, is still really focusing on a pure game system with uh, features that help improve the gaming experience. They're not really after that set-top box market. So with Microsoft's newly minted leadership position in the games industry amongst the hardcore, and really against uh, the casuals now as well because they've gained a lot of momentum over the past year or two, uh, Microsoft is confident they're now in the position to force us to adopt whatever they give us. This isn't really a new idea. Microsoft has often uh, been at odds with consumers as far as implementing things they want that will really help them um, but aren't very consumer friendly. But this was the plan all along. Xbox One is their convergence device they always dreamed of. Uh, they're not shy about forcing consumer unfriendly features. This has always been a birthright for Microsoft due to their monopoly on the OS sphere. But I think they'll find the gaming community will not bend over so easily. We do after all have options, good options. And if Microsoft isn't careful, they could give Sony the living room even after bleeding billions of dollars all these years. Just because they lost sight of what's important, keeping us happy. Well, as you see here, the gameplay is winding down. I've mounted a fierce comeback, finally got things going, dropped a nice cruise missile. But we came up just short. It's very disappointing. My team let me down, damn it, whatever. <laughs> but uh, I promised them pain next round and uh, sure enough I did bring them pain the next round. If you haven't seen our last video it's coming up in the previous video link right after this. It's some exciting demo class Apache gameplay I think you'll enjoy quite a bit and our next video is coming as always in two days. Take it easy.